one squee with Kriana. That's me. Welcome back to Swatar. We theorized that maybe he just doesn't like belly shirts. Yeah, it's probably it. It's probably it's not because I'm a healer. It's definitely the belly shirt. Say how dare you put on some clothes, woman? Put on some clothes. You disgrace me. I should kill you first. I should kill you. All right, hello. Hey, uh, is your vocal cords like crushed or something? Because you were dang on there for quite a while. I'm okay. <laughs> For years, I've dreamed of vanquishing Darth Benjin. Glad to have had a hand in it. I fought hard outfit. and well. That outfit. His, I want his outfit. I'll loot him. He seems surprised by your strength, Drag. I always held back in his presence. Something Barris told me to do. I have no delusions I would have survived this battle if it wasn't for you. This is your victory. It's so true. <laughs> You, Barris, and I will be unstoppable. <laughs> Someday, this will be our fate. I predict that day won't come for a very long time. <laughs> there are things I must clean up here for Barris. I will meet you back at his chambers. I'm, I'm going to play that off as like, Bar uh, like Perrin was throwing out a feeler. Like, you know, hey, this is going to happen to us and see what he says and maybe uh, Alliance, but no, it looks like this guy is diehard. Yeah, actually. Boop, 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 boop. Can I teleport? Oh, it's not that close. It's better just to run. Yeah, I was going to say, you're going to waste it on that. Hey, don't, don't on tell me. that? Don't tell me what I can and cannot do with my wastefulness. I will tell you what you can't d do with your, wh what were we what? talking about again? Uh... <laughs> Uh, Are you still dying? I'm dying. <laughs> oh my god, Eleanor was like trying to play the sympathy card. Karen, I have See, something to I think Karen. that maybe some donuts might help me survive Karen. a little longer. Karen, I can't. I'm dying faster without any sugar. <laughs> I, I, that's, need, I don't think that's what's killing you, Eleanor. I need some donuts. <sighs> Karen, stop. Hang, hang, hang on, hang on. I can barely talk. Fat. Fat. All right, all right, all right. Look, float some, float some. Oh, I Where feel are you? so faint. Float some. Hey, calm down, Perrin. Eleanor. Hang on, just wait a Perrin. second. Okay, hey, float some. Perrin. Go, go tell Vet to order some donuts, okay? All right. There. He's he's going. El donuts. Queen. Yes, yes. Vet's gonna order some donuts, okay? I love donuts. It sucks because like Perrin knows what she's doing, but he can't risk it. <laughs> what, what if it if really, really is? Dies? What if it's true? <laughs> no, <laughs> not the elevator. I can't believe your light side, honestly. <laughs> light side, bitch. What's up? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah, so this episode titled "Waiting for the Elevator." <laughs> I'll bring my husbandu out. I do need you. <laughs> I got a minute to talk right now. Why don't we talk on the elevator? What do you got to say? <laughs> Not in front of Harold. Oh. Harold. Black your ears. Ah! <laughs> Elevators! Jaysa! Jaysa. Jaysa. No. Okay, she's fine. She's fine. No, no, she's not. Jaysa! Jaysa, calm Jaysa. down. It's okay. Jaysa? There you go. Jason, no, Jason. Oh, no, Jaysa. no, she's a little, she's a little unsure about okay, this. Okay, okay. Uh, that this. last, I think that last fight may have, uh, may Did have something to her back. Something. Yeah, to her. Okay, Jason. When we get back, we'll, we'll take a long. What do they have in Star Wars? Like Viber showers or something? Sure, laser showers. Yeah, so something. Where are we headed? We are headed down and around. Yeah. Beat you. No, you didn't. Son of a biscuit! <laughs> I want that too! <laughs> hey, Chubbs, we did your work for you again. Tinhead, we're back. I hate this guy. Look upon me, apprentice. You have never seen me so <laughs> You look exactly the same! Look around these chambers one last time. The humble trappings of yesterday. With our dismantling of Darth Vengeon complete, I assume his seat on the Dark Council and return to Korriban. Mm. 
Have our efforts propelled the Council toward full-scale war? Indeed. Clan Zero and Benjamin's doomed attempt to claim the Fringe Worlds have triggered war. The Treaty of Coruscant is no more. Uh. We ascend together, Apprentice. Uh. Only our combined strengths can propel us to the height of power. Ah, the third side of this triumvirate arrives. Lord Drog, welcome home. It's been a long time, Master. I'm ready to join the front line. Together, we will be an unbeatable force. Yes. All the pieces are in place now. Now that I'm on the Dark Council, we are perfectly positioned to bring the Republic to its knees, to shape the galaxy as we wish. Go and enjoy this victory, my apprentices, but be ready for my call. I will not sit idle long. <sighs> really hate giving this guy more power. Yeah. Ooh, I got a major XP boost. Nice. Ooh. Jewel prototype storage box. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just curious. Bam. Oh, yeah. Oh. Woo. 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 Oh. I level up for you. I level up for you. Parent. Do, 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 do. Parent. Help. <laughs> I'm, I'm dying, Perrin. Why are you so hurt? Oh, oh, I'm Perrin. sorry. I'm sorry. No, oh. Eleanor. Eleanor, I'm oh, sorry. Perrin, the so, way you treated I'm, me just look, then just look, made me look, feel look, so look. weak. What if I? What if I? What if I? You know what? What if I go take you to get donuts right now? Okay, let's go. Right now, okay? Is it? Yeah. I'm, I'm so sorry. It's fine. Let's go get donuts. <laughs> Woo! Like I, I so want to call you out on it, but I can't. Perrin would just be really, really worried. <laughs> You're totally gonna be able to abuse this guy. <laughs> Woo! The force is a weapon. Damn it. Do you do you I'm have sure to go to the Imperial to fleet it. as well? I do. My lord, I've been studying the Sith code lately, and I'm wondering what you think of the line "peace is a lie." There doesn't seem to be a lot of room for interpretation, but I know you are an ardent proponent of peace. You should know by now that I do not allow the Sith to dictate how I live my life. Yes, I guess so. It still strikes me as strange how you can be Sith and value Sith teachings so little. The Jedi Code is the core of our philosophy. We learn it by heart and it's the foundation of everything we do. But I guess it's different for the Sith. The Sith Code is more a description than a guide. Some take its words very seriously. Which is better? The ones that truly believe peace is a lie? Or the ones with no code at all? Master, have you noticed how much more effective in battle I've become? In light of my failure reaching out to the light side Sith, I have rededicated myself. Your example has helped me. My mind is clearer than it's ever been. My powers feel amplified. Your increased prowess is wonderful to see. Yes. I'm definitely anticipating attacks better. And when I use my special power, things are more distinct with much less effort. It's all thanks to your guidance, Master. Hey, uh, Sith. We make a pretty good team. I was thinking I might take off after I found Reich, but the old job just doesn't sound quite as appealing. I'd be honored to have you with me. Maybe sometime I'll take you out into open space, show you the thrill of lying in wait for a big freighter and a big payoff. I may be out of the game, but my skills are sharper than ever. What's on your mind, Vet? I've been talking to Tiva. First thing she did after you freed her was start trying to find Mother. I'm helping where I can. How goes the search? Aggravating. Standard Imperial databases aren't any help. Mother wasn't that old when she had us. She has to be alive, somewhere. Anyway, mainly wanted to thank you for Tiva. Nobody would ever guess what a wonderful person my Sith Lord friend was. You'll never believe what I found. I thought I'd left this behind planets ago. Is it some kind of artifact? 
This is the tooth of a 4,000-year-old proto-rancor. But look, see this? It's some kind of metal. Not cortosis, but very similar. This rancor was tamed. It was my very first discovery. I carry it with me everywhere for luck. I thought I'd lost it when I fell into an old tomb a couple of digs ago. It turned out it was caught in the lining of my pocket. On Korriban, I pulled an artifact from an ancient holocron that was supposed to be unopenable. You mean from the pyramid and the tomb of Marka Ragnos? How did you do it? With a sonic excavator or some device of your own? It was painfully obvious, really. I used lightning. Hmm. You know, there's a theory in the archaeological world that certain ancient devices, holocrons especially, have resonances. It's something to do with the Force. Just as only Sith can activate holocrons, some ancient devices can only be activated by certain Sith bloodlines. Well, most archaeologists reject it as unscientific. But there's so much about the galaxy we don't understand. Who am I to say what's scientific? Have you worked with many Sith in the past? Never closely. Usually in a for-hire arrangement. The Imperial Reclamation Service may be part of the army, but we get much less funding than our more martial comrades in arms. Uh, but if you'll excuse me, I have some new findings to analyze. My lord, I'm receiving reports of a failed military incursion. It seems one of our special ops battalions was following shaky intel and warped into an ambush. We're the only ship in the sector that can relay their distress calls to high command. Permission to transmit their coordinates for extraction. Do it. Immediately. Yes, my lord. Hopefully the consequences of this blunder can be lessened. Hey, I got an idea. You ever fly to the middle of nothing, cut the engines and just drift? I'm always looking for an excuse to waste time. You won't regret it. I promise. You ever find it funny how no matter where you are in the galaxy, it always looks like you're at the center of things? I think it's beautiful. It's freedom. It's endless possibilities, you know. Any direction you go. I guess it's that normally I start feeling strangled right now. You know, in a relationship. Like I gotta run away. This morning I woke up and thought, I'm out of here. And then I realized I, I didn't want to go. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, it's stupid, I know. What's on your mind, Brunmark? <laughs> The peaceful tiles don't respond well to murder. <laughs> You've long since surpassed the Republic's pathetic order. I've got him. Reich, the SIS agent who betrayed me. He's a dead man. My old girl Casey intercepted an encrypted message. He's moving on Trandosha, of all places, as we speak. I've got a flyer, I'll lose him. You can go, but you have to promise not to kill him. Since when do you care who I kill? I haven't come this far just to let him get away. First it was Wilkes on Tatooine, now it's Reich. Eventually you have to let go. Fine, I'll consider letting the scumbag live. This is the last bit of business tying me to my Republic days. This is the last time I'll run, I promise. Reich's dead. 
was dead before I got to him. Lucky jerk. Turns out I wasn't the only enemy he made selling secrets. Imperial intelligence sniper got him. Guess he was playing both sides. You have to learn to let these things go. Revenge doesn't get you anywhere. It gets the anger out. Anyway, Reich's dead. That's good enough for me. I'm done running off. You and Casey are the only friends I got. And, well, you're the only one with the ship. <laughs> you're not so bad yourself. Eh, I just point and shoot. But I'm happy to be along if you'll have me. My lord, I've been tracking a series of broken Imperial signals on an encrypted channel. Tremendous interference. I've identified the source, Major Ovech, commander of Moff Broisk's elite infiltrator unit. But that's all. Who is this Major Ovech? Have you heard of him? I know him well, my lord. Served with him under Moff Broisk for many years. He's an unmatched leader. Moff Broisk's command ship does not respond when hailed. My gut says there's trouble. Permission to investigate further. I know you wouldn't waste time with anything that wasn't important. Thank you, my lord. Uh, my lord, remember I told you about my mentor, Orsilio Gan? He took me under his wing after I discovered the domesticated Rancor Tooth. I was polishing the Rancor Tooth and placing it among my things when I noticed a medallion he gave me last time we met. I decided to call him, but none of his frequencies work anymore. When was the last time you spoke to him? It was before I went to Hof. We met at a cantina on Nar Shaddaa for a little light archaeological talk. He said it was on his way to Malachor III. That's when he gave me the medallion. It's the last I saw of him. Did he act strange at the time? Not really. Maybe a little at the end. I just thought he'd had too much to drink. <laughs> he did love to imbibe. If you need my help searching for him, you'll have it. Oh, well, thank you. I'm sure it's nothing. You can't keep an Imperial Reclamation Service man down. I guess I'll keep an ear and an eye out. I'll let you know if I discover anything. Hello there. Hey, don't worry. I'm not going to get silly again. I've had time to think. It's not my place to judge why you're attracted to me. I just have to decide if you treat me like I want to be treated. All right, you're judging. I'm waiting. I didn't mean it like that. I'm just, I don't know. It doesn't have to be complicated. Wow. Okay. Yes, that. All right. More of that later. For now, um, back to business, yes? The Tiles may be capable of more than mass murder. <laughs> Forget your weak brethren. Only the strong deserve to survive. <laughs> You know, I think I'm getting better at this whole fighting thing. Watching you pick targets for all those hours must have been useful after all. It's nice to see you improving your skills. Going to be a sharpshooter any day now. You just wait. So, are we getting married or what? Hmm. You get right to the point, don't you? You've been messing around long enough. No point in being vague. 
Hurry up and marry me before I change my mind. Deal. turning sentimental, but I, I gotta say it, you are beautiful. Are you saying you love me? Yeah, I guess I am. Cool. My lord, I was able to clear the channel and get to the bottom of Major Ovich's relays. He's in a state of emergency. Patching him through now. My lord, your captain there is one in a million. I've given up hope anyone out there would hear my distress calls. He's proven himself invaluable to me on many occasions. Wish I still had him in my detail. Probably would have avoided this. Morph Broyce dispatched me and my officers to a secret weapons warehouse on Cato Nemoidia. Trouble is... It ain't a secret no more. We're holed up, surrounded by Republic forces. I'm trying to get Broisk to send the rest of my unit, but he's gone radio silent. It's worse than that, my lord. The Major's ship has been commandeered by Broisk's personal commandos and ordered to stay put. That tears it. Seen it a hundred times with Broisk. Bit of the cut, bait, and let good soldiers die that have made a mistake. Sounds more like Broisk wants you dead, Major. Any idea why? Same reason he demoted and exiled your captain, I'm guessing. I'm his only officer who's not shy about my opinion. Enemy was pausing between breaths, gearing up to charge again. Looks like the end of the line for me, but I'm not going out without a fight. Ovech, out. My lord, Major Ovech would be a terrible loss. I served on his ship, know it like the back of my hand. I can infiltrate and try to restore command to his men. Then they will be free to join the fight. Why are you still standing here? Go! Yes, my lord. My lord, returning from action. Pleased to report, Major Ovech and most of his officers have been saved. I was able to infiltrate Ovech's starship and seize control of the operating systems. I identified where his men were being held, freed them, and locked Mofbroisk's occupying force on the bridge. Ovech's men promptly rescued him. Amazing job, Quinn. I'm thankful you're on our side. You're too kind, my lord. The Empire is stronger with Major Ovech. It would have been a shame if he was squandered. Thank you for the opportunity. I'll return to my duties. Master, one of the Sith I tried to connect to has contacted me. It seems he's ready to trust us. His name is Lord Emmerich. He's an overseer on Korriban who secretly trains hand-selected acolytes to follow the light. That's the kind of daring we need around here. I wholeheartedly agree, Master. He is right under the nose of the Dark Council. Emmeridge knows he won't last long, and he's hoping we'll look after his disciples, help consolidate their power, and guide them in the galaxy. With your permission, I'd like to reach out to them and keep in contact. Emmeridge's pupils will be a great asset when the day to make our move on the Empire comes. To be sure. The longer he remains active, the bigger the army he builds for us. You're teaching me to find sustenance from within, independent of outside forces and direct results. And the moment I let go of my need for obvious progress, progress is achieved. This reinforces everything you have told me. My lord, I've solved it. I've figured it out. I don't understand how I could have missed it. The outer layer of the medallion responds to heat. It melted away and revealed this. It's a heat-resistant casing with a data chip inside. I'm beginning to believe your claims that your mentor was a genius. He was certainly one of a kind. The chip said he was looking for the tomb of Via Santinus. He said he was going to Malachor III, but everyone knows the tomb is on Alderaan. 
I believe Orsilio Gan went to Alderan. I'm going to find him. Did you have any luck finding your mentor? No, my lord. I'm afraid the trip was all for nothing. Orsilio Gan was already gone. Nobody could tell me where. He was definitely in the tomb of Via Santinus. His workmanship was all over the site. But he left no clue that I could find. I'm sure he'll turn up somewhere. Don't you worry. I've not given up hope. Detective work such as this isn't much different from archaeology, after all. It's all about observation and deduction. And Orsilio Gan taught me well. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this in the tomb of Via Santinus. I thought you might find it handy. I do love presents. Aya Santinus was a meticulous record keeper. These are the genealogies of all the great Sith Lords of his day. Look, here is your ancestor, Lord Kallig. Bloodlines are very important in the Empire, my lord. Not to mention the historical value. I oh. love you. I love you. Still weird. You don't have to rush things, Vet. I'll be here. Thanks. I appreciate it. I know I'm a pain. I do. Still, I love you. And that has to count for something. Hey, uh, can we talk? Look, don't tell anyone I said it, but you're all right. I wasn't sure this thing between us was going to work out. <laughs> We're married, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Come on. We're two beautiful, volatile people. What's to doubt? Yeah, we haven't killed each other yet, huh? I don't know if we'll have kids or anything like that, but if we do, or you have apprentices or whatever, I want to be there to look after them. I'd be honored. I'm just saying, you're not getting rid of me easy. So Tiva landed on her feet. She started seeing a moth stationed in the Outer Rim. He's apparently like 60 years old, though. I don't know what to think. All that matters is how cool. we get along and feel about each other. You're surprisingly romantic sometimes. Anyway, Moth Old Guy apparently has all sorts of contacts in Imperial Intelligence. And I guess he's helping her find Mother. I have dreams about the night they took me from <laughs> Came in the night, pulled me Sweet. off my sleeping mat. Hang on. Just oh, sorry. screamed and screamed. You found Tiva. You'll reunite the whole family soon enough. I hope so. It's nice to know you believe in me. It makes no sense. Darth Vilas produced over 3,000 volumes, writings and holocrons, makes a one-line notation, I'm hearing voices, must find cure. Then nothing in 3,000 volumes, not a single other mention of the subject. Do you think Thanaton could have tampered with your resources? These are common diaries, not Sith secrets. There's no reason anyone would... No. No, you're right. Why didn't I see this before? Volume 2397, line 232. Killed my fourth apprentice today. Caught him spying. Same line. Volume 2455. Killed my fourth apprentice today. Caught him spying. The entire volume is a duplicate. At least we know what we're looking for. Thanaton must have grasped what was going on when he confronted you and ordered the volumes switched. Let's hope he didn't destroy them. He keeps a private, heavily guarded library under Drummond Cast. I'm not supposed to know about it, but for various reasons, I do. I'm guessing Darth Vilas' missing volume and another by Darth Aratus are there. Both could be imperative to your survival. She found her! She found her! Mother was sold to a hut on Tatooine years ago. She works in a small shop there. Tiva found her, and she's headed to Tatooine already. 
We need to go meet her as soon as we can. Of course. We'll wrap up what we're doing and make our way to Tatooine. You're the best. Oh, and Tiva sent back not only the credits you spent getting her out of that awful place, but a gift. A sign of respect from her old moth. Okay, as soon as we can. Tatooine. I wonder what Mother will think of me now. Hey everyone, Squee here. I want to give an announcement that'll be eh, slightly unpopular, but... You know, we got to do it anyway. Um, Kriana and I are both extremely busy right now. She's starting school in a week. I'm also dealing with a whole bunch of uh, anime conventions all over the place, trying to um, get those trips in order, etc., etc., etc. We're having trouble finding uh, reliable times to link up and, and continue doing Swator. And we don't want to be stressed out about trying to get videos out on time so we're going to put things on hold until we're both more clear of our schedules probably for a few months at least um this lp is not dying uh, in fact very few of my lps die if once in a while they do but they might be put on hold for a while um so we both love doing this lp it is really really fun but we want to enjoy doing it. We don't want to make it feel like it's a chore. So this will be the last episode for a while. And then once we get our schedules straightened and we have more free time and we have some episodes under our belt, we'll start uploading them again. So until then, uh, please be patient and more will come when we can get it to you. All right. All right, everyone. Ta-ta.